Am I live? I think I am. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> where was I with this character? Gosh, it's been a while. Oh, I was doing the gatekeeper nonsense. That's what I was doing. Okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, I just, I look, I haven't uploaded in a while. Okay, my look, I'm sorry. I haven't. Here's what's been going on. Okay. <clears throat> so work has taken up way too much of my time. Uh, I think that's finally uh, resolved. Um, <laughs> emphasis on think. It's finally resolved. Another thing is that I've hit I've hit a wall on DDO. There are... <sighs> um, so, okay. I play this game single player. It is not a single player game. Now, it can be played that way. However, there are some missions that I cannot run. Because in order to run those missions, you have to have people. Because there are puzzles that require more than one person. Now, there's one in particular that really frustrated me. I don't remember its name. But... You got to have one person stand in a place and another person stand in another place while you go underwater, right, and try and flip a switch in a third place. Now, hirelings are the answer, I, I hear, okay? I spent an entire hour, a whole freaking hour, getting incredibly frustrated at the fact that my hirelings were too stupid to do the thing. <clears throat> and then I pretty much threw my keyboard at the wall, said F this, and uh, left the room. I, I didn't I didn't quit the game. I didn't turn it off. I just said F this and left the room. Again, after throwing my keyboard at the wall. <clears throat> Some pieces fell off. It's okay. I put them back together. It's all right. It's all good. Everything's good. Nobody was hurt in the process of the rage quit. But that's what I'm talking about. So without people to play with, there are just certain missions I can't do. And I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, now that I have time to play, because because work's been fixed, I think, uh, how do I, how do I get people to play with me? What's, what's, what's the secret? And I, I don't know. I haven't figured that out. I don't know. Should I, I don't know. Usually there's a guy there, but I guess not this time. Okay. Um, there's also another thing. <clears throat> so I really love the tabletop RPG as well as DDO. So I'm thinking, okay, if I can't really devote a lot of my playtime to... Oh, I'm using the wrong arrows, I just realized. It's been too long. Oh my god, have I, have I really been using the wrong arrows? Huh. That's weird. I shouldn't have those. I didn't cast the spell to get those. I don't know why I have those. That's cool, though. Uh, good good on me for glitches. Alright, yay, glitch. <clears throat> um, so, tabletop. Mm, I'm going to try and do something with the tabletop uh, Dungeons & Dragons. I have not decided yet if I should put that on this channel or if I should just do something else. Create a whole new channel and have that channel be the tabletop game and this channel be DDO. Um, you know, because I like both. I think, you know, I'm a big fan of both. Right? That the, I wouldn't be playing this game if I didn't start on the tabletop, to be honest with you. Because um, I had heard of this game for a very long time, but I hadn't played Dungeons and Dragons before, and so I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know. Am I really going to like this game? What would be the point of me playing? I've never played the tabletop game. Why Why bother? And then once I got into the tabletop game, I'm like, oh, <laughs> let's give this a try. So that's exactly how that happened. Um... So yeah, I'm kind of deciding on that too. So I might just make a new channel, or I might upload some tabletop stuff here, see how it goes. I just don't know. There's just no decision-making either way on that. 
Um, feedback is always good. If you think you would enjoy tabletop stuff here as well as DDO stuff, then yeah, that's, then I, yeah, I can provide both on one channel. Um, I think it'd be a lot easier for me that way, to be honest. But, um, <clears throat> would people watch it though? That's, that's kind of the question. So yeah, so that's what's going on with me. Not that anyone asked. Not that anyone really cares. I'm pretty sure not a whole lot of you really care. But uh, just in case there's the one of you that did, here's your video. Um, is there anything else I should mention? Um, 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 oh, yeah. You know what I should mention? Just so you guys have full disclosure on it. Uh, the tabletop stuff. That's going to be advanced Dungeons and Dragons first edition. And uh, I know that's not the most popular edition. Everyone loves the fifth edition, and uh, that's that's cool. That's fine. You can love what you love. I'll love what I love, and we'll just uh, we'll just we'll just be fans of Dungeons and Dragons in general. Well, you know, we can just get along that way. Hey, you like Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, oh, I like Dungeons and Dragons too. Oh my god, let's be best friends. What, you play 5th edition? Oh, that's cool. It's, it's you know, hey, that's not, yeah, I mean, it's not what I like, but, you know, but that's cool. That's, yeah, hey, man, as long as you're having fun, it's awesome. 5th edition, right on. Good, good for, good, good for you. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's going to be 1st edition, and it's going to be a, basically a homebrew campaign. Because um, I have looked at some of the 1st through 3rd level modules. First of all, there aren't that many, and then the ones that are there, I don't, I don't like. Like, there's, I just, I, I don't know. There's the, uh, what's it called? Um, Against the Reptile God, I think, something like that. And I've heard it's a, it's a fun mission. Right? Like a fun, um, not mission, a fun uh, um, little adventure to run through. But uh, <clears throat> I was reading the module and uh, just didn't find it all that uh, fascinating, to be honest. And that's not to say it's not, you know, it's it's all right for D&D. It's, it's, it's an okay first through third level adventure i just didn't find it that fascinating or i didn't think it'd be that fun to play um so i'm gonna make something of my own design because that's how you should play it anyway i don't know if anyone remembers but real quick before i quit before i end last thing you remember you remember maybe you don't remember maybe you've heard of way back like Original D&D, like way before advanced D&D was ever a thing, okay? People would ask Gary Gygax what his world is. And Gary Gygax says, well, I, you know, I've got Greyhawk. And he's like, well, well, let's play in your world. He's like, no, 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 no. That's my world, right? You're, you, the, the point of Dungeons & Dragons is to create your own world. <laughs> and people were like, no, that's, I, no. <laughs> um, it, I think it's funny that Gary Gygax thought that everyone was just going to make up their own world and do their own thing. A lot of people did. I'm not saying they didn't. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they didn't. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying you had a lot of people who were too lazy to do that. Or maybe it just wasn't lazy. Maybe it was just not having the imagination. Or maybe, maybe they didn't have time. Well, it just kind of was fascinating because right now, I think... There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on the internet about the lazy DM right now. And that's fascinating because I'm like, well, way back, because I always thought it was like a modern thing. Like everyone now nowadays is too busy, or they just they just can't because it's just there's just so much going on in their life right now. And I was like, that that's the same thing was going on back in the 70s. That's interesting. I just found that fascinating. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that's weird. I, I, maybe I don't know, but uh, I just thought that was weird. How back in the seventies, nobody wanted to do their own thing because too busy or not enough time or whatever, and we're still dealing with that today. Hmm. 
Then, of course, he had to rush Greyhawk because everyone was demanding it and turned into a disaster, but it is what it is. I kind of... I had a campaign in Greyhawk that I thought was... I thought was actually kind of fun. Certainly has its problems, don't get me wrong, but I had a good time. I think that DM was just uh, really good at embellishing things, to be honest. Because you can take... Because here's, see, what I love about a good DM is they can take something, like a module, and they can expand on it. Like, they can add to it, subtract from it, and make, you know, customize that module to to the group's, you know, individual play style. Well, I find that to be a, a real fascinating quality. I'm going to die. I'm going to die right now in front of, the, front of everybody. Um, a real fascinating quality in a DM, and I look for that in current DMs, and I, it's hard for me to find that these days. Um, I find DMs who are, they kind of run the gamut. There's, you know, you've got those who are like rules lawyers themselves. Don't get me, I mean, look, they exist. I don't, I don't tell me they don't, because I've, I've seen those DMs. Yeah, the DMs aren't rules lawyers. No, man. They, they, they're out there. You just, maybe you haven't encountered them, but I have. And then there's, those who just play all loosey goosey, which is fun, you know, good times. I'm still gonna die. Um, but there's this middle ground between the loosey goosey and the rules lawyers, who can take, you know, the the guidelines of the rules of, of the module, whatever, and turn it into something customizable and fun for your for their group. I think, the, man, that's the DM you want to keep. You want to make them happy, keep them around. That, those, those are the good ones. I'm telling you, man. But anyway, I think I've rambled along enough. And you guys know what's up. You guys know what's uh, keeping me from uploading new content. Um, and uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know when I'll get to the next thing up. But um, expect some some experimentation with first edition to come to the channel soon. And hopefully, you guys like it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Uh, <sighs> sorry, it's taken me so long to kind of have to work, you know, to kind of figure all this stuff out and work through it. I wish I had a, um, faster answer, I guess. I don't know. But, um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Talked about why I quit. Well, not quit. Talked about why I haven't uploaded in a while. What I plan to do. Mentioned it was tabletop. Mentioned it was first edition. Homebrew. Mm. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, well, that's it. I'm gonna cut it off right here. Um, I, I, you know, I hope, uh, hope you guys are doing well. How are you guys doing? <laughs> that's probably what I forgot. How are you guys doing? What's going on with you guys? I uh, hope you're having fun in DDO. I mean, shoot, I haven't been able to do anything with um, the new updates. I'm so sorry about that. The <sighs> and I was so excited for dinosaurs too. Um, the Isle of Dread, man. Um, I'm gonna try and get some Isle of Dread stuff up. Uh, I just can't give you a date on that, but yeah. I, I really, I'm, I'm having fun in the Isle of Dread. Having a good time. <sighs> Anyways, this has gone on long enough. You guys have a good one. See you next video. And uh, I would I would love feedback on the first edition homebrew stuff. Because if I have to just go ahead and make a new channel, I will. I think that's, that's kind of fair. Since this one was pretty much dedicated to DDO. If you guys just want DDO, then yeah, then okay. Then yeah, I, I, if that's your feedback, then I hear you loud and clear. I'll make a new channel. It's all good. I'm going to use Tim Cast sign off. Dodada Govee.